So Jason, what are you going to do? Uh, we're going to shoot uh, straight into the sun using the Mars 3 as a full flash, or really the, almost the major flash really, and uh, see how it holds up shooting directly into the sun and uh, uh, basically balance that against the blue sky. We're going to try and get blue sky and uh, a roll it all around. manual on the flash there. We're going to see TTL, see whether it can read the light facing into the sun this way, see what it uh, what it picks. Let's try it out. And uh, you were uh, shooting above 250? Are you using it? Uh, yeah, at the moment I'm at 640th because uh, I'm trying to expose for the ambient, try and get blue sky, just a little blowout around the actual sun itself. Uh, and we're going to try and basically get uh, proper exposure. Normally when you're shooting into the sun you have to expose for the uh, uh, person and then blow out everything else. So if you're going to get the ambient up, uh, but uh, what we're going to try and do is actually shoot uh, to, to get the background as normal. Well, that worked beautifully. It had plenty of power to fill in against the sun. What we're going to do now is actually try a speed light, uh, and we're going to try it flat out, give it its uh, its best shot, uh, and then uh, see whether a speed light flat out has the grunt even once. Because the recycle time is going to be nothing special if it's flat out. See if it even once can actually fill what the uh, Mars 3 was doing with ease before. So let's give it a whirl. Oh